Hello all smart people out there. In the last tutorial, command input and output, we got to know that a command can take two kinds of input, standard input and command line argument. Also, we got to know that the command can give two kinds of output, that is standard output and standard error. In the last tutorial itself, I also tried to seed in your mind a few new terms, which is called piping and redirection. So the time have actually come when you will be actually dealing with a serious stuff about this section, right? So in this tutorial, we will be knowing what is actually redirection and we will be trying to redirect standard output to other data streams and you will learn to read data, read standard input from a file which is not in the same location but from any other location on your PC and you you can redirect it to other data streams and we'll be trying more cool concepts of redirection over here and by the end of this tutorial you will be having a very much good understanding of redirecting data stream from one location to other and from one data stream to another and you will already start feeling like a computer genie so now we are in the terminal window and we will be using the cat command to understand what is redirection. I'm using cat command because in the last tutorial and previous few tutorials also, I'm using this command. This is a quite simple command, easy to understand. And you have used it in the last tutorial. So you will be having a better idea and you don't need to relate to other topics. You just focus your entire attention on the concepts of redirection. So I am writing cat and I press enter the cat command is still waiting and it's listening for the standard input to come. So I am writing here, hello smart people and I press enter. And as standard output, the cat command have listened to the standard input. It have displayed the standard output over here and it's again listening to the terminal for giving another input to it. So we won't be giving another input, we just press Ctrl and C button and come out of it. Now, what if I want to redirect the output to some other folder? So for that, for so here comes the interesting part. We now use the redirection method. We'll be redirecting the, uh, the standard output stream to another location, which means by another location, I mean to another data stream. So for that, I'll be writing cat, one greater than space and I'll be writing this to output dot txt. So I'll explain you what uh, what is going on here. Um, I have written the cat command and then one space and then the and I have written the number of standard output which is uh, which uh, which I'm redirecting using the greater than symbol and then I have given a space and then I have written a file name output dot txt. So what, hap what happens when I press enter, the cat command is waiting for me to give an input to it. So I will be writing over here, Linux is a great OS. And I press enter, I'll come out of this. What I notice, what we notice that the cat command is no more listening to me and I'm ready to go to the file section to my home directory and I see that output.txt is already created over here. Now let's open it and see whether the output has been redirected or not. Yes, Linux is a great OS. The output has been redirected to it. So guys, you have seen that using this command, I have redirected the output from rather than it displaying on the screen, the cat command have redirected the standard output to a file to a data stream, which is called output.txt and the file has been written over here. Remember, this output.txt is not just is not a destination name. It's actually the name of the data stream where the output goes down. So every data stream not just have a name, but also it has a number associated with it. That's why I have written the number one over here, which and we have already discussed this earlier too. Standard input is having the number zero associated with it standard output is one and standard error is having the number two associated with it. So here is where we are changing the destination where the number one stream is pointing. 
in other words i can say that we are actually changing the stream one destination where the stream where the standard output is pointing one more thing i want to add if even if you don't write this number one it will be giving the same output like cat greater than symbol space output dot txt and i write linux is a great os and i just come out of this i reload it and i have the same output okay i hope you have i hope you are getting this so for your ease i'll be making one more file and i'll show you that the file gets created right over here so cat greater than symbol sorry uh, since uh, commands are very case sensitive i have to write in smaller format cat greater than symbol school dot txt you just notice that as as soon as i press the enter button the file has been created but right now no data should be inside this because the cat command is still waiting for me to give it the input and i will be writing over here i am going to school and i have pressed enter i'll come out of this and i'll open the school dot txt again i am going to school so i have got the output over here now just let's add one more text and see what the output comes cat greater than symbol school dot txt and hello friends this is amazing and i press the enter button let's come out and we'll go to school dot txt we reload it and oh what just happened this cat command have overwritten what was earlier written so i am no not any more going to school i am just saying here hello friends this is amazing so what have done what have i done over here so this is actually what so what i have done actually is called truncating so redirection by default will overwrite whatever is present in the file and this process is having a fancy name which is called truncating so to avoid truncating how we do it i'll show you over here right now i am using again the cat command but instead of single greater than symbol i'll be using greater than greater than and school dot txt sorry school dot txt and i write over here hello good people and i press enter and i come out of this command line and i reload the file to see hello good people so this time i have appended the data rather than trunking the data so this is how you do it so friends so friends we have completed with a small portion and before we move forward i just want to give you a small recap of what we have just learned now so that you will be able to connect what we are learning so we just learned that standard input and standard output are directly connected to the terminal standard input is taking the input from the terminal and standard output is that also displaying the result over the terminal itself we got to know about the concept of truncating where we use single greater than symbol to redirect the standard output to a file or a data stream you have to be very much careful for not truncating the data otherwise you will be facing a major data loss so for that as a rescue comes the concept of appending where we use double greater than greater than symbol to redirect the standard output of a file to a data stream and we learned that the standard input standard output and standard error is having a number associated with it and the we can use the same just prior to the to the greater than or the double greater than symbol without any space if we use a space like if we use one then give a space and then use the greater than symbol then this 
then the shell will not understand because it is looking for one greater than or one double greater than or zero greater than or zero double greater than but if we just separate the number and the symbol the shell will not understand it and the and you may you may end up getting an error so moving ahead we have to now understand what actually is an standard error and how we can redirect the standard error also to a file so till now we know how to redirect the standard output to a data stream or we can say to a other destination or a, or a file using a greater than symbol or the double greater than symbol to avoid truncating now let us just see what is a standard error and with cat command i use the option k already i have mentioned that this option k option k is related to searching uh, anything based on the text that we enter after the after the k option with a space so i will be writing over here a b c d e f g whatever ra random text and i will be pressing the enter button and we have got a error okay let's try it again cat dash k and x y z okay we got an error so this error reads that this cat k is an invalid option which is not to be used with the cat command okay and this command is also giving me an standard error which reads try cat help for more information so this are the standard errors when any command or any option is not found what if i write a wrong command itself so i will be writing a b c d dash l so the bash cell gives me an error saying a b c d command not found i can write blah blah x and it is again reading that the blah blah is the command is not found so all these are the standard error which are directly getting displayed on the terminal so i can say that standard error is directly linked to the terminal just like standard output and standard input now i want to redirect the standard error to a another data stream or you can say that i want to redirect this and i want the standard error not to be displayed on the terminal rather it should be getting stored in some of the file so for that i'll be using the same redirection concept that we have learned earlier we'll be using cat dash k and i'm writing one greater than or i can just use the greater than symbol and i'll be doing error dot txt and let's press enter okay okay so i need to give the cat i think i have made some mistake and i need to redo it i'll be i'll have to give some input over here blah blah so did you notice it i am not actually not getting the standard error in the file error dot txt though the file have been created but the error is not getting displayed so i have actually done this intentionally to show you that what is the importance of the number that is associated with this so for that i'll be writing uh, since we have learned that standard error is having the number 2 associated with it i'll be writing 2 over here i don't need to give the space now if i press the enter button yes so this time i think i have not done any mistake while typing the command yes you can see that the standard error has been redirected to a file which is called error.txt okay so let's try one more again and uh, this time i am not trying to ever truncate the data i'll be appending the data and again the command might be having the same error yes it is already there so we have finished up with knowing what is a standard error and how a standard error can be redirected to a file or to another data stream located somewhere in the pc now next we are moving towards knowing how can we read the input from a file and redirect it it means i want to read the standard input from a file and i want to redirect the standard output of that to a another data stream 
so let's do it for reading any data what we have to do is we have to press zero less than symbol and i'll be writing a file input dot txt so now what i'm going to uh, i'm getting this error is there is no input dot txt so let us just create an input a file called input dot txt and i'll be entering a few text over there piyush is doing good <laughs> okay i have to redirect it to uh, to the file input dot txt and i can see over here that input dot txt is created and piyush is doing good yes i think i am so let me clear this and again now i'm trying cat 0 less than symbol and input dot txt so i have used this less than symbol and this standard input number associated with standard input is 0 so i have used 0 less than symbol and input dot txt so i have asked the cat command to read the data to read the input from the file rather than waiting on the terminal for me to enter the input so it has displayed the standard output on the screen now i want the cat command to redirect the standard output to some other data stream so i will be using cat 0 dot if, if even if you don't write this uh, zero it will work it is only for the standard error that you have to write the number input dot txt i don't want to truncate the data so for that i'll be using the double x greater than symbol and output dot txt and i press enter and i have not received any output over here so let's go to file and let's open output dot txt and piyush is doing good has been redirected to the file output dot txt so what actually happened people the cat command have read the data from input dot txt and it have appended the data it has redirected it to another data stream which is called output dot txt which is located somewhere in the file so this was all about redirection where you have learned about how to read the data from a file and to redirect the standard output to some other location now i am going to show you a very cool thing over here i want to open the terminal again i'll be actually opening a new window and in this new window i'll be running a new command this is a totally new command so you can just note it down the command is called tty this command gives you the location of the terminal so this slash dev slash pts slash 1 this is actually the location where this terminal window is available and terminal windows actually have different uh, locations so you can uh, run the same command over here and you can see that the terminal window over here is having a different number so now i actually want to read the data from output dot txt file and i want to redirect the output from this uh, uh, from this to a new data stream which is not a file but it is actually the location where the, this terminal is available so i'll be writing the location slash dev slash pts sorry slash 1 and i want you while i'm pressing enter i want you to see over here and just see how the data will get displayed so i'm pressing enter button now yes so this was what i wanted to show you you can even redirect one data from one terminal to another and you can just keep this loop going on so that was all about the redirection concept where you have learned how to redirect a standard output to a another data stream and further into another file and also to a terminal window we learned redirecting standard output and standard error to another destination which is actually another data stream you got to know about the concept of truncating and appending data while performing the uh, redirection where you have used the single greater than symbol and the double greater than symbol for truncate and appending respectively you got to know that standard error is directly connected to the terminal and you also got to know how to read input from a file by using the less than symbol and to redirect it to the other 
a data stream located in some other file. And you also learned how to redirect the standard output to another terminal window. You can know the location of the terminal window by pressing the TTY command and press enter to get the terminal window. And so now we have been we have completed with uh, the redirection chapter and now we'll be moving ahead and in the coming chapters we'll be learning about the piping fundamentals where I'll be teaching you how to redirect the standard input from one command to the standard output of another command using the piping concept. And piping is actually a very powerful tool. Once if you understand the piping concept, you will be able to make complex commands on your own and this will give you a real feeling of a computer genius and a very good Linux learner. So I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you.